Questo video è sponsorizzato da NordVPN. Oh, that's a secret door. Abracadabra, boom, lights go on. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, oh. You can't come all the way from Italy and me not show you something. È arrivato quel giorno, un giorno dei massoni. Le origini dei massoni sono confuse e non troppo chiare. Si sa solo che si trattava di un gruppo di maestri artigiani che nel medioevo si tramandava tecniche e skills legate alla costruzione e alla produzione di strutture in pietra e nessuno tranne Italia e Pietra stessi poteva essere ammesso in questo gruppo. Ma ad un certo punto però in Scozia cominciarono ad accettare membri non facenti parte dei tagliapietre, uomini che però in qualche modo potevano portare valore al gruppo, altri artigiani, letterati, pittori, scrittori o uomini di grande intelletto in generale. E come molti intorno al 1600 anche un gran numero di massoni migrò verso le Americhe e quando i primi arrivarono nelle nuove colonie trattandosi spesso di uomini facoltosi di potere non si limitarono a costruire qualche palazzo o grossa struttura in pietra ma fondarono vere e proprie città una dopo l'altra e Filadelfia è proprio una di queste, una delle primissime, la culla degli Stati Uniti. Vi basti pensare che nove degli uomini che siglarono la dichiarazione di indipendenza americana e poi la costituzione proprio qui a Filadelfia facevano parte di questa misteriosa confusione fraternità, la massoneria. Mille leggende sono state raccontate a proposito di questo gruppo, centinaia di storie girano sul web e c'è anche chi dice che questo gruppo segreto si nasconda dietro ogni grande avvenimento della storia americana ed internazionale. Forse è vero o forse non lo è, ma visto che mi piace scoprire queste cose in prima persona mi sono diretto nel tempio massonico più importante al mondo per andare a fare un po' di domande alle più alte cariche in città. Sonico, dobbiamo solo aspettare la nostra guida. Questo è museo. Ok, è Guarda tutti questi artefatti, Ci sono così tante cose particolari, strane, che sembrano arrivare da un altro pianeta. Medaglie, giacconi, coccarde. Mi porteranno anche un tour speciale che non fanno fare alle persone normali in cima al, al palazzo, insomma. Una storia che mi raccontava il tipo sotto il Gran Maestro è che in realtà esiste una città in Italia che si chiama Filadelfia, ma con la F, che è gemellata con Filadelfia e la struttura della città è fatta piuttosto simile anche se è un piccolo paesino in Calabria di 5.000 anime. Il palazzo qui comunque è incredibile. Ovviamente i simbolismi sono ovunque. Occhio, squadra, Compasso, croci, sono ovunque. What you sh like, would say like, to people that don't know anything about it? Mm -hmm. well, a lot of countries, it's, 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 they still keep it very low key, but in the United States, you know, guys wear lapel pins, guys wear rings, they wear baseball caps, they wear sweatshirts, they put bumper stickers on their car, they put stickers They're on showing their car, shoot, they, they put things on their house, they fly flags outside their house. They, so, you know, over here, it's anybody who wants it to be, it's there. Okay. Sono molto, molto più aperti qui rispetto al comunicare al mondo intero che sono parte della massoneria o massoni. Non vuole andare troppo nei dettagli, ma lo capisco. Ma vediamo se con il tempo si apre un pochino. So it is so free here that it's like it's, it's easy to get in. No, you have to follow a certain procedure to get okay. in. You can't just join like you would join like a club or something. Yeah, yeah, you still have to meet certain qualifications, not have a criminal background, a belief in a supreme being. It could take a couple of months, typically about six months to go through from beginning to end until you're a master mason, which once you're a master mason, that's considered as high as you, you go. And then there are other things called appended bodies like the York Rite and the Scottish Rite. And they have things like the 32nd degree and the honorary 33rd degree, but it's not like they outrank anybody else who's a master mason. We're all master masons. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, they just, the different allegorical lessons that, that go on beyond the stories of the building of King Solomon's Temple, which is what all the basis of Freemasonry's allegorical references refer to is the building of that the building of the, the, old, yeah. the Old Testament, yeah. Freemasons are only men or they mm -hmm. open it like two? Only men. Only men, mm -hmm. okay, still only men. Wait, so you see the statue. Look to your right. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This room here is used for like... And this is all for banquets. Okay. Um, Uh, wedding parties, uh, mm -hmm. the wedding ceremony. Show, sure, yeah. Parlo poco in italiano semplicemente perché è un po' irrispettoso farlo davanti a un massone e a il mio collega qui e l'altra guida. 
però è assolutamente fuori di testa questo posto, ci sono passaggi segreti, stanze, altre stanze più giganti, librerie. Back in the 18th and the 19th century, the Pierce and Masons pretty much had their own aprons made up to a design that they wanted. Whereas something like this or this, they're each different because the symbolism has different meanings to each person. And then um, over here we have one of the highlights of the museum. This is one of George Washington's aprons. Really? That wow. That was given to him by the Marquis de Lafayette. But the aprons come from, they, they derive their um, origin from the fact that actual stonemasons who had to pick up and carry stones. They had to use it for a proper They had like a full lamb skin that they would wear and then mm -hmm. um, as they became um, as they became more skilled, instead of just carrying rocks, they were actually working on them. They would pull up one of the corners of the lambskin to make like a pocket. Today okay. we would wear a tool belt, but back then they would make a pocket out of it. Um, and then usually once you were a supervisor, you, you would have to, you wouldn't wear the full skin over the, your just top because you're supervising. There's different ways that masons wear their aprons that it signify that the, the degree. Okay. And an apprentice wears the flap turned up because that's indicative of the whole sheepskin protecting your chest. And fellow craft, which is the second degree, has it folded down with the corner tucked up to represent the way you put your tools. And then a master mason, you wear it just like these, square, as a, as a master mason, as a mm -hmm. guy who supervised things. These? these are called past master's jewels. And once you've served as the master, the worshipful master of the lodge, that the worshipful master is the person elected to run the lodge for a year. Mm -hmm. After your term of service, you're presented one of these by your lodge. Now, all of these are from Pennsylvania. These smaller ones were worn on the pocket. Mm -hmm. The larger ones were wear around your neck on a collar. There are 52 different Grand Lodge in the United States alone because every state has its own Grand Lodge, okay. plus the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico. Ooh, so okay. what we do over here may be slightly different than what they do in New Jersey. What they do in New Jersey may be slightly different than what they do in mm -hmm. Georgia. And there's like some like uh, global rules that like Freemasons should follow. Well, yeah, typically, I mean, they're, they're, they're yeah. The they're, general uh, rules that the everyone is rules. following, yeah. Right, we do have a constitution, in fact, let me show you. Well, this is this is the book of constitutions that Benjamin Franklin printed here in Philadelphia in 1731. That was the first Masonic book printed in the United States. And this is, um, this is based on Anderson's constitutions, which was printed in England. We have an original copy of that, the wow. first edition over okay. here. Uh, History and Constitutions of the Freemasons. So these are all like rules and regulation type things. That every like in now every Grand Lodge has something like that. They all pretty much would read pretty much the same. So there's no like a grandmaster of all the grandmasters. No. It's just like no. every, just a grandmaster for no. every single. There's lodge. not even a grandmaster for the United States. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, no. I'm trying to think like the main goal of being a Freemason. Well, what? it's self improvement. Self okay. But you know, people join because they want to learn new things. They want to make new friends. They want to do charity work. I mean, mm -hmm. Everybody has a slightly different, you know, reason. But the, the whole purpose is, is that what we say is to make good men better. Mm -hmm. This is one of the original stones from the White House in Washington. Wow. When it was rebuilt in the 1940s, they had to rebuild the whole thing. It was falling apart, and they found all these stones with the stone, the stone mason's marks. So President Truman, who was Grand Master of Masons in Missouri. He sent one to, at that time, all the f uh, 48 grand or 50 Grand Lodges in the United States with this letter. These are different Masonic emblems that are used. Now, some of these are used all over the world, but this, this specifically was made in Italy. Vi ho fatto davvero tantissime domande e ha risposto alla praticamente totalità di tutte quante quelle che gli ho fatto, anche se ha omesso alcune cose. Non so se volontariamente o semplicemente perché gli sto rompendo troppo le palle. È incredibile come la visione che noi abbiamo della massoneria in Italia e in Europa sia completamente diversa da quella che hanno qui da qui sono super aperti e ne parlano tranquillamente e dicono che il vero motivo di far parte di un gruppo come, come quello della, dei Freemasons della massoneria è semplicemente quello del self-improvement 80.000 massoni in Pennsylvania e 2 milioni di massoni in tutti gli Stati Uniti e 4 milioni in tutto il mondo seduti all'interno dell'Oriental Hall. We are an institution of higher learning and a fraternity. We expect men to improve their character as men as they advance through Masonic knowledge, which is exemplified in the three Masonic degrees. It's almost like three college degrees. They must be earned. Uh, the Fellowcraft uh, Mason's degree is the first promotion. When a man becomes a Mason, 
he is uh, uh, go going through ceremonies to make him a mason. That's called an entered apprentice. And just like the original trade uh, unions uh, and the early lodges where an 11 year old boy would start his educational training, uh, he would uh, be an apprentice for seven years or more before he could be a fellow craft. Uh, the shortest amount that a man can progress and advance and prove their competency is uh, three months uh, before advancement after the first degree uh, to the second and then finally to the third, the Master Mason degree. That's considered the highest degree of Freemasonry. This is another salon of the reunions, the grosso, called Gothic Room. The other is much more carino. Questo è un po' più austero. Perché riprende tutte quante quelle linee gotiche, un po' più dure. In realtà questa è la stanza dei templari. Infatti ci sono le croci di Malta sul fondo e sulle coccarde. delle riunioni fatta molto 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 simile all'altra sempre con le tre luci nel mezzo il piccolo scrigno che non si può offrire di cui non vogliono parlare assolutamente i due segretari uno e due e la sedia per il gran maestro e come in ogni stanza ovviamente tutti i dipinti sulle pareti sono vecchi gran maestri un'altra cosa che c'è sempre è un pezzo di pietra sul, cui, sul quale battono il martello Quindi prossima stanza, un'altra stanza di, di ritrovo, di congressi in cui dibattono una volta al mese, è quella che è chiamata Egyptian Hall, stanza degli egizi. Sono sempre stati super ispirati alla cultura egizia, wow! Ora fatemi fare una cosa per cui mi spareranno, sedermi sulla sedia del Grand Master, sul trono del Grand Master. Questo è il trono del Gran Maestro di Filadelfia. Yeah, this is insane. I did not, I did not expect this. E questa invece è un'altra stanza, assomiglia molto di più a qualcosa che possiamo conoscere noi in Italia perché tutta quanta affrescata o dipinta come una chiesa cattolica possiamo dire ma al contrario degli affreschi nelle chiese qui ci sono tutti i simbolismi massonici e anche qui la stanza del congresso insomma è fatta esattamente uguale a tutte quante le altre Immenso Immenso Qui è soffitto salto 25 metri E poi giù fino all'ingresso La cosa incredibile è che è così grande il palazzo E non sempre da fuori E ci sono così tante strutture all'interno diverse Che è incredibile What? What? Questa stanza qui è esattamente Praticamente la replica Di o di una chiesa cattolica O un misto tra una chiesa cattolica e una ortodossa Potrei praticamente essere all'interno di una chiesa in Romania, giusto per farvi capire. In più stiamo vedendo solo le cose che ci vogliono far vedere perché ci sono altre tonnellate di stanze che non ho visto e non abbiamo visto. Però io ho la fortuna che dopo questo tour un po' più tranquillino ho una via preferenziale per andare a fare altre cosine, credo qua sopra, in una parte che è inaccessibile ai più. Ci sono cinque piani in realtà, anche se... Siamo al secondo ora. Questa è un'altra stanza ancora più bella. Wow. wow! Questa è una delle più grosse, se non la più grossa, e anche quella più alta. Wow! Quindi in pratica questa qui è la stanza che viene utilizzata per le riunioni di tutte le logge massoniche del Pennsylvania. Infatti qui si riuniscono poi praticamente non soltanto il Gran Master con un solo trono ma ci sono più troni che sono per tutti i Gran Maestri di tutte quante le logge massoniche che si devono riunire qua compresi anche i 
gran segretari e non soltanto dei segretari normali, insomma. Non esiste struttura al mondo del genere. Questo è l'unico esemplare di tempio massonico al mondo. Non ne esistono altri. Tutti quanti i massoni, una volta nella vita, un po' come alla Mecca si fa, vengono qui per visitare il tempio massonico di Filadelfia. E qui ritorniamo forse nella mia stanza prefe, che è quella che utilizzano anche per matrimoni. In alcune stanze si possono affittare, non so se anche da non massoni o famiglie non facenti parte della massoneria come i concerti che ci sono nelle stanze qua sopra e per quello motivo di tutte quante le candele che avete visto quelle stanze si possono affittare per fare dei concerti non credo siano pubblici e si ritorna da dove siamo partiti nella stanza delle... <ride> del piccolo museo insomma sotto in realtà ci sono degli archivi in cui secondo me posso infiltrarmi dopo c'è anche un gift shop in cui spenderò molto probabilmente un sacco di soldi vi farò vedere un pochino di cose hanno tutto quanto marchiato cravatte a questo punto comincia la parte dannatamente interessante perché ho avuto il piacere di incontrare Michael McKee l'uomo a capo di tutto il tempio massonico e che mi avrebbe accompagnato nella vera e propria esplorazione del tempio no, no, that was absolutely like beautiful like, as I told you, I wasn't expecting like, to you be like, so generous about like Oh, I, I appreciate your comments, it's really interesting, you know, it's, yeah. it's great, have some relax. Abbiamo parlato per un'oretta circa della massoneria in Italia, del perché si è più nascosta in Europa rispetto agli Stati Uniti e un milione di altre cose. Ma se volete approfondire l'argomento massoneria oltre a un tot di libri ci sono dei bellissimi documentari, addirittura una serie fichissima, purtroppo disponibile solo su Netflix USA. Ma non preoccupatevi perché per poterla guardare vi basta semplicemente utilizzare NordVPN, che oltre a proteggere i vostri dispositivi vi permette di geolocalizzarmi negli Stati Uniti e voilà, avete accesso a tutto il palinsesto americano, super duper easy. Andate su nordvpn.com slash Andy per farvela con uno sconto incredibile e così oltre a proteggere il vostro computer da eventuali attacchi hacker e perdite di dati, vi potete guardare un po' di contenuti che in Italia non trovereste mai. Mi raccomando, nordvpn.com slash Andy. One of the great things about the building is you see the beauty of it. Yeah. So now you'll see the others that you'll see above where we were and to see the construction side of it, which I think okay. is equally as amazing. Uh -huh. yeah. And the other thing, I don't know, they told you on the tour, the back, so the building itself, the exterior building has a message as well. The back, yeah. the face of the alley, you see the stone's really rough. And on the back side of it, uh, where the courthouse is, mm -hmm. it's a little bit smoother. Okay. And then this side, the face of City Hall, a little bit smoother, and the front side's beautiful. Yeah. That's the other mason, first degree mason, second degree mason, and master mason. Oh, that's it's the so, meaning of it. Yeah, oh, so wow. Uh, and I just love this axe. I don't know why. It reminds me. You ever seen the movie The Shining with Jack Nicholson? Yeah. Oh, wow. A couple of our previous buildings caught fire. So they were very serious about non-smoking. But, so, but that's understandable, right? Over there, there's a sign that says absolutely no ice cream tubs on a platform. Ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> So this is above the third floor red room, the Knight Templar room. Mm -hmm. This is above there. I was talking about how much goes into it. So the carpentry work around here and the framing, just to hold that plaster, that amount of plaster, sure, yeah. it's so much. Uh, so everything, as long as it's one of the boards, you're safe, but if you step on over onto the- uh, You're gonna go. Down. You're gonna go right through yeah. it, yeah. I don't think you'll survive. It's been pretty powerful at the time, because everything's by order. I love the doors, yeah. but like, what? Oh, wow. oh yeah, the counterweight. Right? Uh, Incredibile. We, we have work areas like this. We also have work areas that are between the floors. So if we're going to carry the materials up here, they can work up here, although I prefer that they clean up. Sure, yeah. Bricks, we, there's like 15,000 blocks of um, wow. granite and over 12 million bricks. So you see, like, when you look at the outside, you're like, how could they fit 12 to 15 million bricks? And then you look at the inside. It's. And you see it. E credete come ci sarà ancora così tanto spazio qua sopra? Siamo sopra tutte quante le stanze, c'è ancora così tutto quanto questo spazio. C'è un po' di bulbi qui, quindi switchiamo da bulbi a LED. Sì. È sicuro che sono come 100.000 bulbi. Abbiamo 5.000 bulbi in questo posto. Oh, sì, sì. Quindi è incredibile, ma guardate, tutti questi bulbi sono le stesse bulbi che questi due sono. Now that I've shown you this side of it, look up at it, you're gonna see that ladder. Si sale ancora di più. E c'è una vista incredibile si sulla città. Wow. And then uh 
Yep. So this is three o'clock. So now later on we'll go up a series of steps. I think it was relatively new at least for Philadelphia to have this to have these mm -hmm. made a part of the structure. Now if you remember the the big red room, yeah, we're above that. And remember the center, there was this and there was a uh, St. John the Evangelist and uh, oh, yeah. the, so that's this is above that. The one with the candles right now. It's got like a for the concert life. Yes. Yeah. That is so cool. The concerts. The rooms, it's how it's laid out. So uh, here's Okay, the magazine. Okay. If you had it, this again, just the door here, it's a storage area. Yeah. But this is the last stop for all records until they get a shred. Like we, we keep anything modern, we'll keep a set of records. Office space here. Now this originally in the original design this was a kitchen. This was a kitchen. Oh, okay. Up here was a kitchen. Yeah. And Quindi queste erano le cucine che erano dietro la, la stanza, quella gotica. Ah, infatti si entra nella stanza gotica da qua. Oh. That's not the secret door. Oh, the yeah. secret room. <laughs> kind of. So was Oh, you got all is we just had these, oh yeah, it's a nice place. The batters, we're getting ready to take these. These aren't Grand Lodge, but Knights Templar are one of the other groups. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna so take like, these it's like, it's not just like Freemasons here, but they got like Templars as well. Oh no, it's, they're all Freemasons. They have to oh, be they are Freemasons, Freemasons yeah, but Templars. But Templars, yeah. Okay. And they're not warrior knights. They're, got, they're they like take the chivalry, thing, yeah. yeah. Okay. Another cool thing about the stuff in this building, everything always has sort of a twist to it. So it's what? a collector, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Wow. No, no truth to the rumors that they actually go to City Hall because there's a subway in between. Don't, don't do it. Don't. Oh no, I thought it was like a, like a door. Oh no, no, no. Oh. I'm saving that for later. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. But if you look closely at this, you'll notice they're actually fingerprints, thumbprints. True. Yeah. Oh, well, because I thought you were like pressing something. Oh yeah, was, like, no, no. Hit the door. That's like, in here. Oh, when that's the secret door. Oh, okay. When we have, when we have kids in here, we say. All right, is this a wall or a door? And they say it's a wall. Say the magic words, and then what they do is. Oh, oh, oh my god. And even better, we say we need some light, and we tell the kids, say, abracadabra or whatever. Yeah, so Boom, lights go on. Because we have a pressure switch down here. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm coming. Oh, 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 oh. You can't come all the way from Italy. I mean, I'll show you some. Oh. Behind the walls, they've told you that it's plaster work. It looks like marble. This is the actual plaster work. It's like so bricks. it's the little slats of wood and then plaster over it. Oh, it's not bricks. That that's food. Yeah, that's on the other side. It looks like marble. It's yeah. not. It's all this. Lucida, segreta. So, so uh, this is going up to a lodge room we can never use because. It is. Like, look at that. Look at the view from from me. Yeah. Because in Italian, Italian we call it rosone. It looks like a flower. Wow. Beautiful. You know what? Though? The subway downstairs at night, you it can hear the subway it. rattle. Yeah. It doesn't shake all the way up here, but it rattles. So if you look at the doors, right up here. Evil. See that the door here? Oh yeah, that's the door. Yeah, so it's held on by this cable, and then like a, when the fire comes, it melts that and releases that, and the door slams door. down. Yeah. Wow. I used and to that's tell from like no, it's not from the beginning. It's not from the. 80s. No, this is from the beginning. Really? Yeah, that's that. So they thought about it like when yeah, they. Yeah, I don't know if they. I don't know if they used metal or used a different. They may have used rope back then. Rope. It was the yeah. doors were here. To work here, you have to be a, like a Freemason. No. Talking like a night time. Do you have to like wear some like special like clothing? Clothing, yeah. Yeah, uh, so Pennsylvania, everywhere it's different in different states uh, and different countries. Pennsylvania, you have to wear a suit. Okay. Uh, and then worse for men, and leaders wear a tuxedo. So, like in my office, I have a suit, I have a tuxedo, I have like all different okay. cases. But what they do wear is you see the apron. The apron yeah, okay. yeah. They, so the apron, everyone has this, the same apron, but it's folded for, differently. Well, yeah, it's folded different ways. That there's different degrees. Yeah, so this is the bottom of the freestanding staircase. Uh, we use these rooms for 
ordinance probably set off uh, for lives dinner for the Masons when they eat. What huge? I mean, yeah. It's, it, this place is amazingly it's massive, big. yeah. So we have sometimes when we have, we'll have an art show every year. Uh, we get entry from all over the world. And then we'll display their art here for about a month after the art show. And then if people purchase it, we send it away or we give it back to mm -hmm. the artists. And this is just pictures of the building in different stages. Wow. It was a coal house and a nice. This was a brand new church back then, though. It was a bit like a couple of years before. Uh, two, two, two three years, years yeah. yeah, something like that. So now we're going like two walls, like a lower level. You're going to the lowest level now. Wow. So this uh, this is an actual working conveyor belt. Probably the point più basso del tempio della massoneria. Put a light back there. What? Oh. All right, Michael. Hello. Your calling card. Ok, al punto più basso c'è l'archivio. Things in the meetings, we don't talk about religion, we don't talk about politics and you can't come to a meeting in Trump mm -hmm. or on the influence or anything. And that's a very that's a rule. The great thing about coming to meetings is you get away from all that. Okay. You could get it's away like a from peaceful, the peaceful like club. <laughs> yeah, it's like very peaceful. <laughs> What's like the main purpose of like free being a Freemason is just like self improving yourself? Yeah. Okay. It's to make good men better. So many interesting things like done here. Coins here. C'è di tutto. Di tutto. Immenso. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Yeah, so I before I like on the like the gift shop to like this some more. Not if like they, yeah. if they sell this, I'm going to buy one because the boar's tusk is one thing, and then it's a bamboo bamboo stick. So, yeah. and you see how it's twined together with the wire, and how it's it's laced. You see how it's laced mm -hmm. like that? You don't see that anymore. Yeah. There is um, vast pieces of just the collection from random uh, masons, like when. When we lose a mason, their family will send us a lot of their items that they've had that yeah. they think are Masonic or that actually are. Mm -hmm. And we go through them, put in the collection when if they are or there's something that we don't have a ton oh of. Being a, a Freemason is not like a, a family business. So it's not like between like father and son. No, and sometimes fathers and sons never, never communicate, never became masons. That's the beauty of it. It's, there are families that- The are, are, yeah. Out of my entire family, I'm the only one who ever joined Freemasonry. Okay. Yeah. Most of the other uh, parts of my family will ask me, oh, well, what is that? And then I tell them about it, and they're like, yeah, that probably yeah. would bore me to death. Yeah. So, you know, it's just like... <laughs> I don't want to learn anymore. <laughs> yeah, really. Sure, like, yeah. I've been through school. Actual U.S. passport? Uh, it wow. Passport? It was, I believe it's a Masonic passport, but I'm What do you mean, like a Masonic passport? passport? So... This is uh, the passport that gives him uh, the right to go to any country in the world and lodge, be, oh, yeah. be welcome in the lodge. Okay. Yeah. So like an ID card yeah, for basically, free. Basically, yeah. Okay. Wow, it's so incredible. It's so full of things that they're going to bring me to my house. They're not going to bring me to my house. Wow. Tempio Masonico più grande del mondo. And the view in front of me is not bad. 